So to try and cut the, the bottle opener portion here, you're going to need a jig. So I've got a piece of scrap oak here. With the, it's a V-block. And I've got some ad adhesive tape here on one side to keep it from spinning as I try and cut it. A couple things here also to mention is I've got two different sizes of screws because one end of the shell, the back end of the shell, is much wider than the front end. So this is going to go here like this. And right up until that edge, so that's going to be my my stop, if you will. So I don't have to put a stop here. I'm just going to eyeball that. And I have a line in front so I know which way this is going to go. So that's going to match up with this line here. And this jig I had used a long time ago in a, in a previous video on a closed end Churchill rollerball. So if you've seen that before, it may look familiar. So anyway, um, you see I have, I've got this groove cut right here, or marked out right here. That is the exact same length right here in width of that. So I'm just going to screw those in place. Okay, those are in place, and as you can see here, those are pretty even front to back. Again, that's why I said I've got the uh, longer screws in front versus the back. But you can see that that is, you know, pretty pretty uh, level as far as, maybe it's a little bit higher on this side, so I'll readjust that off real quick. So I'm at my bench top bandsaw. This is a pretty new blade. I just put it on yesterday. Teeth are in the downward angle of the way they should be. You can see that I've got some brass dust here and I just cut one of these uh, 50 caliber shells in half. And these are gonna be some clips for my pens. And uh, anyway, you can see how thick the back end of that is if you've never seen what it looks like on the inside. They're pretty neat. So all I'm going to do is just cut this out, put a relief cut, you know, kind of work it out. And then I'm going to trim it up the other way or smoothen up the cut. what that'll look like because I haven't turned it over yet I haven't cut turned off the camera so if everything is right that's the back side it should line up correctly that's why I'm using a jig I tried to freehand cut one the other day and it was a mess so needless to say it was a it was a throwaway job but we'll go ahead and unscrew this next and we'll see what it looks like actually not bad. It's
it's a little bit off right there in the front, but that's okay. Considering it's got a flat spot right there, I can put a flat spot right there and just kind of hand grind that. But not bad for a first attempt.